hey, you're in a transition. What does the transition mean? Well, if you think about the word transit, it connotes movement. It actually means can mean moving from this point to this point. Like as in the Chicago Transit Authority, that's the public transportation. It can involve a form of transportation, which is your light body. The transit is actually happening at a much higher level. We are in some energy where there are things happening above you that will benefit your physical life. This is a part of what is being called up-leveling, a big reset, and also bringing back to you those things that actually belong to you, gifts, skills, past life experiences that are beneficial and not just the ones that you need to purge out, okay? Now, in order to distinguish this, you know, this has to be about your personal life, okay? The more, the more that you make this abstract, you have levels of you that can understand it. You can understand the cosmic level. You can understand the microscopic level, like there's DNA, there's molecular structures, there are energies that you feel and detect, yes, but it has to actually also pertain to your physical life, your physical environment, your livelihood, and your love life. Now, people get all jumbled up with this, and it can cause a lot of mental confusion. It can cause a lot of emotional confusion. And you many times might feel like you're throwing up your hands and wondering, why am I even bothering? Well, there is a reason, and that is the reason that you're here, which ultimately is love. Does that sound too hokey? Let me tell you it this way. The 5D love, which heals you, seals you, brings you up, maintains you, and smooths your life and makes it easy, and brings that other person to you so that you can live the life that befits you. Does that put it in a better context? We're not just talking about some old 3D love and, you know, the chief of the tribe hooked you up with, you know, someone else in the tribe and you're going to pop out a few babies and live in your hut and then die. Oh, it's just too boring already, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Time for some real passion that finds you beyond death that is into you, that thinks you are just the best thing ever. How do I know this? Because it kept finding me. Every time I would try to be like, oh, I just, I don't think I can do this. When I least expected it, would find me. When I least expected it, my soul would show up for me. When I least expected it, my 5D self would do things to assist me. When I least expected it, I would have all kinds of things happen. Even things like you don't think of as part of a spiritual journey, like you're trying to refinance something and your credit score improves and you're going, how did that happen? It's a God thing. Well, you yourself are that God to yourself, just as God is a God to you. And you yourself have to have these alignments so that you know when to surrender, just like that sun. Know when to hold, know when to fold up, know when to walk, and when to run, right? When do you surrender? When do you do what you need to do? And when do you get busy with integration, with maintaining, with learning, in working on your ascension. That is one thing that you do have control over. You got 99 problems, but your ascension doesn't have to be one of them because I have the modality to help you with this. Now, you can take some people that I've helped where they were lost. They were really bubbling up with emotion and they were just things weren't going right. Within one to two sessions, they were on track. One person was very suicidal and she was um, getting focused on her study. She was about to enter university and it, it was critical. You know, it was like that do or die point. You're either going to do this or you're going to fail out. And nobody wants to fail. Okay, nobody does. Even if we learn from our failures, nobody wants to fail. 
I have worked with people where at the beginning of the pandemic, they didn't know what they were going to do. They decided that they would do some of my breathwork classes and focus on themselves. They would take the time since they were literally forced to be a hermit, stay home with themselves, that they would join some of the classes and get better at some of this. And do you know what? They began to reinvent. They began to find a livelihood, even within the pandemic, when you know unemployment was up, money was down. They were beginning to find those parts of them here at the heart and up here to enable them to thrive. There have been people that beyond all reason, when I've worked with them, beyond all reason, they've decided to chase and chase and chase till they have been so exhausted, they didn't even know which end was up. They couldn't even tell a piece of coal from a diamond. It would get that confusing for them. Where within a couple of sessions, they started to think about themselves and really consider how abused and groomed they were getting by the outside forces, by the outside things, by the stuff that is just misinformation. And that by focusing on the parts of themselves that were soul connected through the integration of their light body, they began to very easily improve themselves, feel better, feel healthier, get rid of chronic conditions, and begin to meet someone who very deeply cared for them and loved them. Was it their twin flame? Honestly, I don't care as long as they were getting treated well. And that is one of the things about love. Love treats you well. Should we define a twin flame? Well, let's define the twin flame as the etheric body connection you have with someone that enables you to merge. That doesn't happen with everyone. But feelings of love can happen with many people. This is why they say there's many fish in the sea. When it comes to how you are in a relationship, if it feels like it's going back and forth, it's reciprocating, it's equal, you feel like partners. Who's to knock that? Okay? If it doesn't last, then yeah, probably it was not a twin flame connection. Does that mean that it's totally trashed? No. If you do not know how to clear those connections from someone, or if you're married and you're saying, well, the magic's gone, the passion's gone, you know, we get along for some stuff. Okay. Time to up-level yourself because that is not all that's in store for you here. That is not why you came into this level and were born. There is much more here for you, which I do teach. So please start. I've got a great group starting on Saturday, and you can join it. The link is below, and I hope to see you there. We do an amazing AMA, Ask Me Anything, on the question and answer segment. I will do my best to answer your questions. Bring them, okay? I don't answer questions in the comments. I don't know why people feel like they're going to go back and forth. I, I usually can't be on all the comments. I can't split myself in a million tiny pieces, nor would that be healthy for my union. So come on. Join where you can get an actual one-on-one -on -one attention. If you join, you can talk as much as you want in that segment, or you can observe and listen. Just by observing, many times you'll find out you're not the only one. And that in itself is very hopeful, comforting, and loving. It is a safe space, and I hope to see you there. Thank you. Bye.